lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So in my previous tutorial, I showed you how to make this beautiful cape blazer that I'm rocking and loving right here. And I'm sure you guys will like it. And also, I'd like you to check my previous videos out, such as this beautiful princess seam busted blouse. This is so classic and so cheeky. I'll put the links on the description box below for you to watch later. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to add pleats to the neck of your blouse or top. If you like to see how to create this effect, make sure you watch to the end and don't forget to like and subscribe and share my videos with your friends. Let's get started. So for this tutorial, you'll be needing your patterns and this is a princess seam pattern. I have a tutorial on how to make this in princess seam pattern and I'll be leaving the link on the description box below. So this is a v-neck right here. You can also create this effect on a round neck also and this is what I'll be using for this tutorial. Also you can use your basic bodies for this and I'll be showing you how to create this effect on both patterns. So if you've got your patterns ready let's get started so when your patterns are ready like this I'm going to keep this side one aside and I'm going to mark my slash lines on the neck of this pattern and I'll show you how it should look like so now that I've marked my slash lines here I'm going to cut this out and show you what it should look like so now that I've got my pattern necks all slashed out and I've got another pattern paper beneath it I'm going to spread this out as much as I want my plates to look and now that I'm done that, I'm going to use sellotape to hold this down. You can use your pin or you can use your gum to do that, okay? And you're going to spread it out at least one inch space. So now that I've got that already done, and as you can see, I've held my papers down, I'm going to mark my pattern out on the new piece of paper. And then in between these lines, I'm going to mark a slash line in between them and create an arc upon them. And when I'm done, it should look something like this, like a dart right here. This dart will help me to pleat it to indicate where my place should be and not to lose my allowances. So now that I've done this also, as you can see, I've completed the line as well. I'm going to cut this out and place it on my fabric for my final cutting. So as you can see, I've placed my pattern on my fabric and this is going to be cut on fold. And I'm going to cut this out like so. So when I'm done cutting it, it should look something like this. I'm going to keep my pattern paper aside and indicate where the middle is by using a notch. So now I'm going to show you how to make this same pattern on your basic bodies if you're not going to use a princess seam that pattern. So like so, I've marked my slash line like this and I'm going to cut out this dart and show you what else to do. So now that I've slashed out my dart, and I've opened this area up and I'm going to move this dart like so to the armpit line and what I'm going to do is to slash the other parts of my neckline so when I'm done doing that and spread it out on another sheet of paper as you can see there's a gap in between here it's not going to make your pattern any less beautiful so don't be worried about it just create the same effect like the other one we made and cut out your pattern and then you follow suit with the sewing now for the sewing part of it, you're going to start off with the middle part by pleating from this angle to the notch you created for the middle of the blouse neckline. I'm going to hold it down with a pin and from each foot like this foot, I'm going to take it to the other foot of the dart like so. So like this, I'm going to take this from this foot to the other foot of the dart. You see the essence of creating that foot for your neckline it helps you to indicate where to pleat to where so that you don't lose your allowances so I'm just going to hold this down with pin first of all and I'm going to sew it out but first of all you need to put your pattern paper on it in order to make sure that the neckline stay right so you go ahead and pleat the other side and sew on your interface and when you're ready and you see the neck is flat like this is because I tucked it in within like so under the plates to hide it then I'll further use these pearls to beautify it by using this big 6000 adhesive on it 
and when you're done putting the other side together your blouse is ready thank you guys for watching i hope i'll see you guys in my next tutorial don't forget to check out my other videos like and share my videos with your friends bye